All right, back at it, part two. Um, we have our green uh, cold cast silicon carbide composite material uh, part. Uh, we've casted it to the touch. It is fully cured and hard. No problem there. Again, this was uh, demolded from one of these. So as you can see here, there's a substantial shrinkage, but that's to be expected. A um, little br bit of pre-shrinking here, just because the water escaped. Again, this is a water-soluble binder, so we should um, have a pretty dense green part here. Um, so what I'm going to be doing, we will be doing a microwave center, uh, pre-center. Um, and I say pre-center because again, uh, we'll, we'll, first we'll have to actually debind and then do a pre-center. But uh, a little uh, fact, silicon carbide um, does not reach the temperatures in a microwave required just as a susceptor alone to center itself. So. Uh, following that, we will be doing a uh, arc center. So I'm going to be getting my my ballast here and supporting it in one of my mini crucibles, and uh, we'll hopefully have a centered silicon carbide part using just the uh, household microwaves over there. We are debinding now using the 600 watt microwave. Uh, from there, we will progress into a pre center and following that, an arc center. Okay, let's see what we got. This is after a little bit of time uh, waiting here, and uh, the center has already been done. We'll see if we have a uh, uh, a success or not. And if not, we have a few options. But let's see what we got. So it looks like we are cooled down a good bit. So I'm going to excavate this part and uh, see if we have anything left of it. Uh, otherwise, we might just end up with dust. It's okay. We'll learn something from it. But uh, let's see what we have. Okay, well, would you look at that? Uh, let me see if I can zoom in. See the uh, the pattern there on the surface. That that's the expected pattern. So we preserved our shape, which is really cool. I have no idea what the uh, properties of this uh, this are, but. It's not crumbling under very, <laughs> very minimal, you know, testing. Sounds a little hard. So uh, I don't know. Let's uh, let's inspect a little further. Uh, better than a total failure. So uh, if nothing else, that's a win. Uh, but hopefully we'll we'll get something else. So let's let's see. All right. So let's take a look. Here is our silicon carbide composite part. Uh, I mean, I didn't clean up everything, but that should just kind of peel off, right? So, 
sandblasting uh, did wear down the uh, some of the surface a little bit but really the the question I have I mean it it supported that it uh, came out intact um, so it's not really about whether it centered or not it it did center um, the question is how well uh, I don't know but we have a we have a part that is solid centered to some degree we could probably run this through another pass or two uh, of arc centering and we would uh, maybe get a even more dense part again this um, this is about what I put in but definitely experienced a lot higher temperatures than, <laughs> than most materials probably would and uh, it's it's solid to some degree uh, you know you know, I don't know for sure uh, don't have anything to really test this um, if anyone is interested in um, this process leave a comment I, I love talking to people who uh, find this interesting um, this is a little different than what I normally do since it's not uh, purely metal but again like I said this was a silicon carbide uh, composite so whatever that means to you um, maybe uh, there's something we can learn together and uh, anyway that's all I have for today uh, I'm going to be revisiting this soon since this was a uh, ultimate uh, success I mean it, uh, yeah anyway I'll uh, be revisiting this soon with some different experiments. If anyone has any uh, ideas for experiments on what this could be used for, drop a comment. And like always, cheers.